Do you think you know everything about Dr. Pepper? What if I told you that the secret recipe for this legendary drink is kept in two separate bank vaults, and the owners of those vaults never meet? Or that a single bottle once sold for $7,000? I visited the Dr. Pepper factory, and am ready to reveal secrets the company has been guarding for 140 years. Want to find out what happens if you open a bottle in space? Or how they produce 1,200 bottles per minute? Then this video is for you. Watch until the end. The foundation of Dr. Pepper lies in a unique blend of flavors. Officially, there are 23 of them. Exactly what goes into the mix is a closely guarded secret. What we do know is that the drink combines fruity, vanilla, spicy, and caramel notes. Fans have tried to crack the code, speculating that the flavors might include cherry, almond, vanilla, cinnamon, caramel, chocolate, and even a hint of clove. Interestingly, throughout its entire existence, the drink has remained virtually unchanged, and any attempts to replicate it have ended in failure. Rumor has it that the formula is stored in two separate bank vaults in the United States. These vaults are owned by different individuals who never meet, ensuring the recipe remains a mystery. The process begins with creating the concentrate, a complex combination of natural and artificial flavorings mixed in precise proportions. There's even a popular legend at the production facility that the recipe is divided into two parts, with each half known only to a separate group within the company. This spy story only adds to the intrigue. To put things in perspective, Dr. Pepper has been on the market for over 120 years, and more than 3 billion liters of it are sold worldwide annually. That's more than the total amount of water in 12,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The main component of any soda is water, and Dr. Pepper is no exception. Before being used in production, the water undergoes a meticulous purification process consisting of multiple stages. The first stage is filtration, which removes all mechanical impurities. I've been making videos like this for a while, and I'm still amazed at how much unexpected stuff can be found in ordinary water. The second stage is disinfection, ensuring the water is completely safe for consumption. Finally, there's composition adjustment, which creates the perfect balance of minerals that influence the flavor of the drink. Clean, high-quality water is essential to maintaining Dr. Pepper's iconic taste around the world. Can you believe that the water purified at Dr. Pepper facilities is held to a standard higher than regular drinking water? That's how they ensure every bottle has the same recognizable flavor no matter where it's enjoyed. After the water is prepared, the concentrate is added. The mixing process takes place in special stainless steel tanks that ensure sterility and uniformity of the mixture. The proportions are carefully controlled by automated systems, as water makes up about 90% of the drink's total volume. This part really amused me. Turns out we're not just drinking a concoction of random chemicals. The concentrate is added in precise amounts to ensure the flavor is spot on. At this stage, sugar or its substitutes are also added, depending on the product type. There's the regular version and the diet version of the drink, but I'll cover that later. The sugar is first dissolved in hot water to form a syrup that blends easily with the other components. The famous reaction between Mentos and soda becomes even more exciting with Dr. Pepper thanks to its rich, syrupy composition. The fountains it creates are taller than with cola. I haven't tried it yet, but I definitely will. Meanwhile, Dr. Pepper can also be frozen and turned into a crystalline syrup structure, which chemists love to study. I couldn't resist trying that one. Scientists and hobbyists often use Dr. Pepper for fascinating experiments. The biggest consumers of Dr. Pepper are in the United States, where nearly 80% of all production is consumed. However, in recent years, its popularity has been growing rapidly in Europe and Asia. Dr. Pepper wouldn't be the same without its signature fizz. This bubbly effect is achieved through carbonation, a process where the drink is infused with carbon dioxide gas. Carbonation takes place in specialized equipment. The drink is chilled to about 32 degrees Fahrenheit, as cold liquids retain gas more effectively. Under high pressure, carbon dioxide is injected into the mixture, creating the familiar bubbles. 
The carbonation process feels like something straight out of a chemistry lab, as the pressure in the system reaches five atmospheres, almost twice the pressure in a car tire. Interestingly, if you were to open a bottle of Dr. Pepper in space, the gas wouldn't escape because there's no atmospheric pressure. That means drinking Dr. Pepper in zero gravity is essentially impossible. The finished drink is sent to the bottling line, a fast and highly automated process. First, bottles or cans are sterilized. Then, they are filled with the drink in mere seconds. Next comes the airtight sealing of the caps. The final products are packed into boxes or shrink-wrapped and then sent to warehouses before making their way to stores. Dr. Pepper ensures precise logistics to keep the drink fresh and of the highest quality when it reaches the shelves. Dr. Pepper factories are marvels of modern engineering. I was amazed to learn that they produce 1,200 bottles per minute. That's 20 bottles every second. In a single day, a factory can fill up to 10 million cans and bottles. The entire process, from water purification to packing the drink into boxes, takes less than an hour. Each bottle or can of Dr. Pepper isn't just a container. It's an essential part of the brand. The packaging design changes up to 10 times a year to attract new audiences. During holiday campaigns, limited edition series are released, often becoming collector's items. For example, to celebrate the brand's 125th anniversary, retro-style bottles were introduced. Fun fact, the oldest known bottle of Dr. Pepper, dated to 1891, was discovered at an auction and sold for $7,000. Looks like I've just found a reason to clean out my garage, and maybe my dad's too. It was great to learn that Dr. Pepper is actively implementing environmental initiatives in its production processes. For example, the factory uses bottles made from recycled plastic. Modern plastic bottles weigh 25% less than they did 10 years ago, reducing plastic use by millions of tons. The company is also cutting carbon emissions during transportation. Additionally, the production process conserves water during equipment cleaning. Producing one quart of the beverage requires approximately four gallons of water, including the cleaning process. This is significantly less than some competitors, and serves as an example of efficient resource use. The company is committed to making its production as green as possible without compromising product quality. To achieve this, management invests in waste collection and recycling projects, particularly in countries with lower levels of environmental awareness. Despite its name, this drink was never created by medical professionals. The name was invented as a marketing ploy to highlight the medicinal benefits of carbonated beverages in the 19th century. Old labels featured clocks showing the times 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 4 o'clock. This was a suggestion to drink the beverage three times a day to maintain energy. Let me get back to telling you about the diet version of the drink. In 1962, the world was introduced to Diet Dr. Pepper the first low-calorie version of the original. Its taste turned out to be so similar to the classic that many fans still cannot tell the difference. Interestingly, producing the diet version requires a special approach, as I mentioned earlier. Instead of sugar, artificial sweeteners are used, which are added during the syrup mixing stage. One of the most popular options today is Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, which contains absolutely no calories. Coca-Cola's annual sales exceed $47 billion, which translates to more than 1.9 billion bottles consumed every day. To meet this huge demand, the company operates over 900 bottling plants worldwide. But how exactly is this refreshing, fizzy drink made? To uncover the secret ingredient added to Coca-Cola, we will embark on a journey across the United States and dive into the atmosphere of one of Coca-Cola's massive production facilities in the country. The mysterious formula that defines Coca-Cola's flavor is carefully kept secret. Some say it is stored in one of the most secure vaults on the planet, and only a select few have access to this culinary secret. However, it is known that the drink contains a blend of natural flavors, including vanilla, cinnamon, and citrus. This precise combination of aromas gives Coca-Cola its signature taste, setting it apart from other sodas. The production of Coca-Cola is a detailed and complex process that ensures consistency and perfection in every bottle of this iconic drink. At the beginning of the process, the components are combined. A precise mixture of high-fructose corn syrup, caramel coloring, caffeine, and phosphoric acid 
is blended in exact proportions to create a syrup with 50% sugar content. The syrup is then poured into massive mixing tanks, holding 5,000 gallons, where it is combined with water at a ratio of 1 to 5. At this stage, the mixture is continuously stirred to ensure the perfect integration of all ingredients. The next stage of the process is carbonation, where carbon dioxide is added to the mixture to create Coca-Cola's signature bubbles. This process is carefully controlled to ensure the same level of carbonation at all production facilities. To achieve this, the water is chilled to just above freezing and carbon dioxide is pumped in under high pressure, allowing it to dissolve more quickly. Once the liquid has absorbed enough carbon dioxide, it is bottled and sealed tightly. When you pop open a fizzy Coca-Cola, the carbon dioxide under pressure is released, forming bubbles and creating the iconic fizz. Next, we enter the section dedicated to packaging the product. Here, plastic bottles are formed by blowing preforms into their final shape, before being filled with the carbonated mixture. At this stage, each bottle is carefully inspected by a machine to ensure that the amount of liquid is correct and the caps are sealed properly. Bottles that do not meet the standards are removed from the production line. Speed and efficiency define the Coca-Cola bottling and capping process. As bottles are neatly placed onto a conveyor belt, they are then sealed and the product is labeled. Before distribution, each bottle is stamped with the production date and batch code, either on the cap or the side of the container, ensuring all necessary information is visible. The drink is also packaged in cans and glass containers with multiple production lines operating simultaneously. Glass bottles are primarily reused, undergoing a thorough cleaning process using chemicals and high pressure water, fully restoring them. However, brand new bottles are also produced. Coca-Cola follows a recycling strategy, continually encouraging the use of reusable packaging. Quality control is crucial in Coca-Cola's production process. The company implements strict measures to ensure that every bottle meets high quality standards. Tests are conducted at various stages of production to guarantee the product's consistency and quality. These tests include tasting the mixture to verify its flavor, carbonation, and appearance. Additionally, bottles are tested under pressure to ensure they can withstand carbonation. Beyond these checks, Coca-Cola follows rigorous sanitation and safety procedures. To protect both workers and the product's integrity, employees wear protective clothing and ensure that the production facilities remain clean and free from contamination. The production of Coca-Cola is a complex and carefully controlled process that ensures consistency and quality in every package. After passing quality control, the products undergo a thorough wash with powerful jets of water before being packed for shipment. Cans and bottles are arranged into compact forms or stored in containers. With pinpoint accuracy, mechanical arms expertly position the blocks in place to create large pallets. The blocks are then moved to the packing area where they are neatly arranged and carefully wrapped to ensure smooth transportation. The finished product is shipped to stores and distributors all over the world, making Coca-Cola available everywhere. The production process of Coca-Cola can vary slightly depending on the region, as customer preferences may differ. To cater to these preferences, Coca-Cola adjusts its recipe to align with local tastes ensuring that every customer enjoys the flavor they love most. However, the core ingredients remain unchanged, carefully selected and blended to give the drink its signature taste. In the early stages of production, these elements are combined in precise proportions to create the liquid that gives Coca-Cola its unique and unmistakable flavor. High fructose corn syrup derived from cornstarch is used as a sweetener in many carbonated beverages. Coca-Cola's distinctive dark brown color comes from caramel coloring, which is achieved by heating sugar to the point of caramelization. Each year, more than 660 million pounds of sugar and other sweeteners are used to meet global demand for the beverage. Caffeine is included to give a boost of energy, while phosphoric acid adds a subtle tartness that balances the sweetness of the high fructose corn syrup. A crucial component of large-scale Coca-Cola production is water. Each processing plant requires a significant amount of water to meet production needs. In Mexico alone, Coca-Cola uses more than 14.5 billion gallons of water annually to maintain operations.
The combination of these elements creates a delightful experience that has made Coca-Cola a legendary global drink. What actions do you think Coca-Cola has taken to reduce its environmental impact? Recently, Coca-Cola has been implementing innovative, plastic-free packaging alternatives to conserve resources and reduce waste. In 2023, the company introduced the Light Pack Top, an original holder made from recyclable cardboard designed to store bottles and cans. This replaced traditional plastic packaging and helped reduce the company's plastic use by 220 short tons per year. Coca-Cola is also committed to promoting the recycling of plastic and aluminum packaging. Recycling signs and information are placed on plastic containers and street bins to raise awareness about waste separation. At recycling plants, used plastic bottles are collected, inspected, sorted, and transformed into new products. A large industrial machine grinds the bottles into small pieces, which are then cleaned and go through a complex compression process, turning them into fresh plastic containers for food. Coca-Cola has recently updated its product lineup to include healthier and more eco-friendly alternatives with a focus on low sugar beverages and social responsibility initiatives. The company has launched environmental projects such as optimizing water usage and creating recyclable packaging. Today, Coca-Cola is one of the most well-known brands globally, present in over 200 countries and offering a diverse range of products that cater to a wide variety of consumer preferences.